G'day guys, I'm currently restoring our LX Tirana. Um, when we bought it, it didn't seem to have much rust, but the more we pull it apart, the more we seem to find rust. Um, there's not too many Tirana videos around, that's why I thought I'd start making this to help other people that decide that they want to rebuild their Tirana and can't find any information on it. There's a lot of um, a lot of panel beating and restoring videos out there, but none that are Tirana specific. Anyway, I'll try not to bore you too much. I'll just get straight to the point. Um, we replaced this part here and all this section here that had rusted out. Uh, the replacement parts that you can buy on eBay don't seem to fit very well. So what I'm doing from now on is I'm just buying other parts cut straight from another Tirana and welding it straight into this car. Um, maybe if I have to do a little bit of repairs here and there, but otherwise I'd rather do that than go out and buy a, a part like these window surrounds that don't even fit and you end up spending that much time modifying them that they're, they're not even worth getting. Um, so basically that's the finished product here. I'll put some photos up of that section. This was the bit that came out of it. Uh, I fixed this area here already. I still have the quarters I do. I'll, I'll do them later in another video. I'm moving up to the front now. We took the nose cone off and underneath um, we found some rust which I'm currently making a stencil so I can make a, a replacement panel for. As you can see it's rusted out on both sides. Yeah, and here. Um, I was going to buy one from eBay but that, like I said, like the other parts I bought they don't fit properly so what I'm going to do I'm just going to make my own stencil bend up some steel, cut this section out, weld another section in, and hopefully it works out okay. Um, what else have we got? I've got the nose comb, which I'm... Which we've got some little bits of rust here and there. Once I clean this up, I'm sure I'm going to find more rust in it. Um, Another part I'm just about to fix is the front window surround here. We've got some rust holes around here, here. There's another two or three as you go around the car. Um, I've got this replacement panel I bought for the back window and never used. So I'm probably going to cut this up and modify it a little bit to replace these holes. Um, one good surprise is all this area inside here was full of leaves and rubbish from the last 38, 40 years built up and not one speck of rust down there which is bloody which is a, at least a little bit of good news that we've got um, so I'm just about to cut and grind these out and work on the front making panel for the front and I'll get back to you soon everyone out there will be familiar with the famous um, Tirana foot handbrake um, foot brake whatever you want to call it um, pretty much holds the car when parking okay but if you want to play around, handbrake turns, whatever, and just for the convenience of having a handbrake where it should be, uh, we're going to replace that with one here that was cut out of a UC. Uh, that's the same car I got the panels for the back window out of. Um, so later on we'll be cutting this out, putting it in, in around here. Um, but that's a job for another day. But I'll get onto that soon. One more quick thing I'll mention in this video is the battery tray. Um, I was about to replace this one with another one, but we're deciding if we put the battery in the boot or whether to have it here or not. So I'm going to leave that for the moment. If we decide we're going to put it in the boot, I'm going to have to put a flat panel in here. Or if we decide we're going to put the battery back where it belongs, we will have to replace another panel like this. Um, that's about it for now.